and I I and I did that. All right, we're gonna see how this goes on. I got seven minutes. We'll find out. All right. Uh, yeah, my name's Amanda. Um, I am named after a really shitty '80s song and a soap opera character, which is really all you need to know about my family. I, I have a lot of health problems. I live with my parents. Um, and for a long time, I would wake my mom and my stepdad up every morning. One day, my mom comes flying into my room. Oh my God, I thought you were dead. Dead. Because she thought I hadn't woken her up in time. Her clock was messed up or something like that. Anyway, dead, dead, straight to dead. Not like sleeping, not like, you know, watching TV, just straight to dead. And so I gave her a lot of shit about it. She's like, well, at least you weren't masturbating. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, and that's just... A few of the crazy things that she says to me. I do a lot of uh, online dating. I've had some pretty weird experiences there. Um, I actually recently had a guy. This was so weird. Uh, like, I'm kind of a bitch, so when people like, message me and I'm not interested, I just ignore them because I'm an asshole. And uh, this one guy, he was just kind of very persistent, very persistent. So he, uh, I finally was like, you know, I'll just tell him I'm not interested. And he asked me why. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. So I'm like, you know, I'm not attracted to you, whatever. And he says, okay, well, can I just do you from behind and then you don't have to look at my face? <laughs> oh my God, how are you going to say something like that to somebody? And I was like, you know, that's extremely chivalrous of you. I appreciate the offer there, but not with two bags on your head. That shit could not happen. I, uh, I have a lot of uh, oh, weird experiences with men as well. I don't understand due to cat call when they're driving down the street. I don't know what they expect to get out of that. But I feel like the next time that happens to me, I'm going to follow them. Because I think that would scare the shit out of them, and they need to learn a lesson. Like, what would they expect if I did follow them? Just two hours, I don't care how far they're going. Like, yeah, I'm crazy. Aren't you glad you hollered at me? <laughs> I was recently at a friend's house, and uh, there were some people doing cocaine. Like, I don't do cocaine, I'm not for cocaine. A bunch of people, like probably about 25 years old, sitting there having this conversation, and, and the one girl says, what does incarceration mean? What? How? You're doing cocaine, okay? I feel like if you're gonna do cocaine, you should know every variation for jail. Like, I just, I think that's also the definition of white privilege. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't really date a lot of white guys. Um, I, I don't discriminate, you know, with the EOP, that equal enjoyment and opportunity pussy. Uh, affirmative action is unnecessary. Uh, well, actually, that's not entirely true. I do discriminate a little bit. I am not uh, fond of gingers, uh, particularly with goatee, because they kind of look like centaurs. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing from you this week, Opie. We're good, we're good. Let me see that. Thank you. But I don't, yeah, this time, this time you didn't say a word. But uh, yeah, I'm not trying to fuck Mr. Thomas, so that's just not, I'm not going to do that. Uh, my sister and I were recently talking um, about like celebrities. Uh, I can't remember exactly what all the questions were she was asking me, but she asked me like, oh, who, who would I go to jail for? She starts looking up celebrities, like people that we think are hot or whatever. Uh, and figuring, like there's websites where you can find out where they go, which is, I think is really creepy. Also creepy that we were looking on these websites <laughs> trying to find these people. And then I, I am kind of in love with Aziz Ansari. And apparently he's really fond of a taco place that has $20 tacos, which I think is insane. But I am willing to pay $40 and bring my own taco. That's kind of how I feel about it. I, uh, I love him some Aziz. Um, <laughs> also, on the dating front, I date a lot of younger guys, um, significantly younger. I'm about to be 33. My older friends who had kids early have kids who are, you know, uh, reaching like 20 years old. And I can't believe that you are sleeping with guys who are 20. My son is 20 years old. And I'm like, really? Is he single? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I mean, there's, there's definitely problems. I run into quite a few problems there with the... Uh, with the younger ones, but I don't know, I got issues. They don't call me Mrs. Robinson for nothing. Uh, anyway, those are uh, all my jokes for now, I think so. I'm Amanda, thank you all.